the time has come. We can wait no longer for the great masters to return. Hello everyone, this is Captain Sobon. Welcome aboard the Starship and Normal Prize for another episode of Sword of the Stars. Okay, so I haven't read any, any of the comments of the last video yet because this is still the same recording session um, as I had with the last video. And I will definitely say um, I definitely do like using more than one um, colony ship uh, per planet. Like this one right, right here, which apparently uh, we actually need more infrastructure. Nope, wait, this isn't it. This is not it. This is it. Wow, that actually grew pretty quickly. Holy crap. <laughs> I believe this one's it. Um, it started out with about three infrastructures, so I'm assuming this one is correct. So, like I said in the last few episodes, in the original Sword of the Stars, you weren't allowed to use more than one colony ship per planet. You had to use one. If you brought a fleet with ten colony ships, it would only allow you to use um, one colony one colony ship per planet and I don't know which patch or which expansion that they changed at but I'm pretty happy they did because uh, this has only been one turn since we colonized this planet and it already has 3,000 population and a decent industrial output so this will definitely make it to where if we want to colonize like let's say a really polluted planet like this one here it won't cost us near as much time to get it developed because that's one of the main problems like if we have a couple planets in our system um, that are super polluted, like this one right here. This is actually a pretty good sized planet with pretty good resources, but it's really polluted. But if we send like five or something colony ships to this planet, it gives a pretty good jump start to it because one of the things I didn't realize is when you use colony ships, it improves your infrastructure. So if you use three colony ships, it'll improve your infrastructure by three by start. So that is a fantastic, uh, a fantastic jump start on some of these very polluted planets and I'm sorry it took me this long to actually realize this but like I said when I first started playing Sword of the Stars I didn't know about this feature so it took me a long time to break out of the habit of always using one colony ship per planet but anyways in this episode we have a lot of um, stuff happening with the Zul they are kind of mad at us right now they really want this planet they're sending in two fleets to this planet to try to take it over we are trying to build some defensive uh, drones to help protect the planet but we are going to need more reinforcements in order to keep this planet and this one is going to have an interesting time because next turn will arrive to fight the Zul but so will the swarms. Um, so it's going to be, I think it's going to be a one versus one versus one where the swarms, Zul, and us are all going to be fighting for control of the planet. That one's going to be interesting. That one's going to be fun. I'm really looking forward to that one. And we also discovered a couple of the enemy uh, um, planets that we can start preparing for war against. But anyways, um, let's also, we're also researching cruiser technology. We have a lot of time before that happens. But I was discussing in this last episode, and I have decided to start investing more points or more of our money into savings. I know it's going to make it to where it's going to take longer for our cruisers to get done, but we, we need to start building more ships. The Zul are really trying to push us, and we must keep our planets in order to weaken the Zul over time. Because like I said, um, their resources go down over time. Uh, because they don't know how to keep their resources from uh, depleting. So the longer we can defend against them, the easier they will be in the long run. So this planet um, is being developed, so it's not going to help with production. This one is helping with production. Uh, do, do, I, want, I, I, I want this planet. Oh, hey, this one's actually about to be attacked. Okay, so you'll be attacked by the swarm next um uh, next one. So you need a bigger fleet to fight off the swarm. So that's going to be your primary focus. Um, build us a couple. Let's see. You do have a command frigate. Build yourself a second command frigate. And then a couple of drone frigates. Oop, nope, not platform. Platform actually wouldn't be too bad. Let's give you, um, 
One of each. Our sisters will build fine ships, Moro. They'll bring you up to 12. That should be enough to fight off the swarms. I don't think it'll be enough to kill the swarm, but at least to fight off the initial invasion. That should be fine. Okay, so yeah, we have a lot of battles going on. We'll have three battles going on next turn. Let's see you. You're not really building anything. So... Hmm. Let's see. We are going to be making... We'll be at 5.7 million next turn. Okay. So we can build another fleet from you. So let's see if we have enough to get all of this going. Yep. The shipwrights stand ready to build. And I don't want to get too many of our planets focusing on production because it's going to hurt our planetary income. Now, I could go through each one and adjust this, but I, I tend to like having ships that focus completely on construction or completely on trade. So I usually always keep the planetary budget all the way at the construction level. It's a little bit less micromanaging for me to, to do. Like, I could go through this one and be like, eh, I need some more money, so let's do that. But then I have to remember that it takes five turns to build everything. So, to me, it's just easier to keep this at 100 and then just be like, okay, this planet's going to build things. This planet's not going to build things. So that means this one will focus on construction and this one will focus on trade. It's just, it's just easier for me to handle mentally. But anyways, um... We are at 5 million. We do have a bunch of planets that are building things. So yeah, like you're building, what are you even? Oh yeah, you're building the colonizers for, um, I forget what I was building the colonizers for. I literally just recorded this like 20 minutes ago. What was I building these colonizers for? I think it was, like we could send it to this planet and get it jump started because this one has a lot of resources so once it gets developed it'll be really nice you also have this one we do have a couple more planets within our system that we need to get fully colonized this one's not too bad but it doesn't have the resources mm. Ooh, actually we, we need to get this one because uh, this one's all the way over to the right, which means um, the Zul can easily capture it. It's easy. It's early, easy for their coloni. Their, blah, blah, it's easy for their climate hazard to handle. Hmm. But what was I doing with these colony ships? I don't quite remember. I think I was actually going to use them to get this planet back quickly. Or not this one. Um, maybe it was that one? It had to be this one. We're going with that. Yeah, we're going to go with that. Okay. Good to know. Now... Let's go ahead and end our turn and see what's going to happen. Because uh, we are still researching. It's going to take a while. We're Oh yeah, that was one thing I forgot to check. Our ratings. Which we are 868666. So we're lowest on income. That makes sense. We are gearing up for war. So a lot of our factories are producing ships. Which means we're not making as much income. Lowest on technology. Which is really bad. We need to get our technology rating up. And we're still six on everything else. Kind of weird. But anyways. Um, let us go ahead and end our turn and see what happens. Ooh, crap, the one thing I forgot to do. Oh, I forgot to organize my fleets. I knew there was something missing before I ended that last turn. Oh well. 
So we got six cru uh, cruisers back here. Um, we do have two fleets. Oh, right. That, that was the one I was building, I think. And we have our main attack force. So we should be able to handle that one. That one shouldn't be too difficult. And then this one... Wait, I thought we were supposed to have like four attacks. Oh, they must have ran away here. Okay, Zul ran away. They destroyed my planet and then decided to go somewhere else. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. So that's probably why they brought two fleets here, because their fleet isn't really big. Six cruisers we could probably actually handle. And then we have these guys up here. Okay, well, that was anticlimactic. Oh well, let's do this. Let's fight back the Chosen. Alrighty. Your missile frigates, you get over here. I can't wait till we get the technology to uh, put things in groups before we actually start battle. I don't think I'm actually going to do the grouping thing until we get that research, which is going to be a while from now. Oh, wow, they actually didn't have a whole lot of cruisers. They do have point defense weapons now. Alright, you guys get up here. You guys get up. Your missile frigates, you start moving in that direction. That ship just died. Yee. Brought their tankers in. Okay, that guy's dead, and that tanker did some damage to us. Okay, you get over there, you get over there. You're a drone frigate. You're also kind of damaged. And you are probably gonna die. <laughs> You there, you there. They challenge our tribe. What we bring in? Actually, just stay right there. You're a missile frigate. Commander, you get back here. I think I only have one commander, so... Oh, I got like four. Never mind. I forgot this is like two fleets together. <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh, come on, zoom in. There we go. He's almost dead. Awesome. And now we do our second fight, fighting the Silicoid Queen. Yeah, I forgot to put these guys in the fleet. Because <laughs> I didn't think about it. Alright, everyone get close to each other so you can all defend each other. Lots of drones coming in. Oh yeah, we got some of our level two ones. 
Since they have point defense uh, weapons, those are actually more effective against flighting fighters. I forgot that's also another good advantage with them. Yeah, we only lost one ship. Sweet. I just launched all my drones. <laughs> Go drones! Indeed. Is there a way I can... No. It's not like Homeworld. Okay. Let's make our way and try to kill the drone mothership. We got three turn or three minutes. We should be able to handle us. Hopefully. <laughs> I can hear our missiles impacting with the enemy. We have a lot of drones. We might be able just to wipe this enemy out with just drones. We'll see. We can't quite see them yet. Or drones see him. There he is. He's looking at us. Hee <laughs> There goes our super acolytes. There go our interceptors. Haha, uh -huh, it's starting to flame. So it's taking a lot of damage. We still have one more minute. I don't know if we're gonna be able to do enough damage to actually kill this thing in time. It's getting a lot of flames. Never mind. It's it's almost dead. There's a lot of flames on it. Come on. There's six seconds left. It's almost dead. Dang. We weren't able to kill it in time. So that means we'll have another round where we have to fight off the nest that it deploys. Oh well. Such is life. Okay. Well, let's throw you together. Still building a couple drones. <laughs> Drone defense frigates. Let's go ahead and repair everyone. Oh, <laughs> didn't get to repair much. Um, what's the one that got damaged? It's super. That would be you. Hey, enough to get the engine back on. Cool. So we have another fleet coming in. I'm assuming it's going to be about the same size. Uh, because of the fact, um, I, mean, I think he probably split both his fleet in two. Or it might just be a really, really big fleet. I don't know. We do have our scout reinforcements coming in. We definitely did manage to kill them before they got too close to the planet. So, yeah. And your industrial output is definitely rising. And it looks like... Oh! That was the one that they used to attack this planet. He retreated back to his other planet. Okay. These two fleets we will combine together. You will be here to defend this planet. And this one. That's another attack group. We'll send you down there. You are again another attack group. It'll be built here in a couple turns. Mm hmm. Put you into this one. Yeah, we could definitely move that one up here. Was this the one where I was building all of the... Where's the, where's the fleet that was building all the tankers? Or not the tankers, but the uh, colony ships. I forgot where I parked it. Here it is. You move that to here. We are yours to command, 
So here in five turns, we will have this planet back. And then I want you to do the same thing. Our sisters will build fine ships, and we'll do that to try to start getting some more of these other planets. We have 16 at the moment. I need to get that number higher. We need to get like in the 20s. <laughs> We need to get called up to the other computers. But you, you are not going to go on swarm duty anymore. And I want to bring you to this planet that I can't select for some reason. There we go. This one, actually this one will be more useful. Because this planet already has a decent amount. So you go to there. And you need a tanker. Actually, you're the one that just got invaded. So here in a couple turns, you will be attacked again. So we need more... Hmm. Couple shield frigates and a couple drone frigates or not drone but uh um yes, defense frigates defensive drone frigates because <laughs> uh, the whole point of having those fighters with nothing but point defense is they'll fly around the enemy target they'll be attacking it and then when they launch a bunch of missiles their point defense will target the missiles before they even get off at least that's the whole um, reason why I designed that ship. Okay. And now, let's see. We have you guys moving out. Uh, we have another fleet here that we can move. Uh, let's see. We know the enemy has something here. They'll probably still want to try to attack this one. So can we reach here? No, we can't. Hmm. How are we doing here? Can you reach here? Yes, you can. Let's move you there. I'm not going to build anything because I don't want to get below 5 million. Um, but in the meantime... Let's go ahead and check everything. Again, you're good. Um, you, again, you just need to focus on infrastructure. You're growing pretty nicely. Do, do, do. You focusing on terraforming, focusing on terraforming. You have been infected. You're fo you need to focus back on terraforming. Okay. And we're making 800,000. That's about all I can do. That's all I can do in this turn to keep us above 5 million so that our morale keeps growing. All right. So let us go ahead and end our turn. We have a lot of things moving around, but we don't have enough money to actually build anything else. Oh shoot, I still forgot my fleets. Oh well. We're only fighting swarms, so it's not that big of a deal. Okay, so I have another swarmer attack up here. Let's go ahead and do it. Oh, you guys get here. I forgot no one actually owns this planet. So we do side by side attacks now. Oh my. They don't like us. Get 
Keep killing the little guys. I'm so glad they actually don't replenish these units after they get um, killed. Okay. So, shield frigates. Move out. Salt frigates, move out. Shield frigates. Move over there. Run away! <laughs> Ouch! Those beams hurt. Yep, that ship's dead. Ooh. <laughs> Never face the enemy swarm. All of its weapons are in the front. There we go. I think we're out of its range now. Here we go. Now again, if we just... If we use our drones only to fight this thing, I don't think we're going to do enough damage to actually kill it. <sighs> and since it's not running away from the planet, it's actually going to try to engage with us. And we don't have the health or the firepower to take it down when its main weapons are engaging with us. So we're just going to have to annoy it from afar. This is where I wish I had some missiles. Alrighty, yep, we weren't able to kill it. Definitely, once we get cruisers, we should be able to handle fighting those things head on. But for the time being, their main weapons scare me. <laughs> so, um, I just stayed far away, attacked them with our drones, wasn't enough to kill them, but yeah. Alright. Well, um,. Was this the planet that we just didn't think it was? Yeah. Oh well. Oh well, indeed. Well, anyways, it looks like we might be ending this episode. Um, yeah. Yeah, because our time is up right now. So, the Zul um, actually ran away from the planet that they attacked, which I guess might have been because I might have destroyed their colony ships, so they didn't have any way to colonize it. Or actually, I just realized, um, uh, I think this is the one that they attacked. Yeah, because that's the one I'm bringing my colony ships to. Yeah, it, it was too polluted for them to colonize, so they just wiped me out and then ran away. Because <laughs> this would be like eight to 900 for them, because they're like 600 all the way over here. So that makes sense. But once I recolonize this, they'll be back to try to attack it, because they know I own it. Um, and then as we get closer and closer to getting the terroring, terraforming to zero, they're going to be more and more enticed to actually wanting to take that planet. Like this one. They've been attacking this one, this one, and I think that's it. There was another one they were attacking, but it was too bad for them. Anyways, um... Like I said, I'm going to go ahead and end this episode. I hope you guys enjoy. Please leave a like if you did. If you like what I do, consider subscribing. And I will check you guys out in the next video. Until then, this is Captain Soban signing out. Good work with the Kal-El frigate workers 5 and 7. I'm sure they'll forget to thank us later. You got that right. Worker 12. Did you track down those suit beacons we picked up in Sector 43? Sorry, Command. We found the suits, but the poor dogs didn't have a chance to get their helmets on. We tagged them for the burial ships. 